Tim is in this year's Soccer Hall of Fame induction class. Father Corbett, Mr. Berry, that led by their example with their humility throughout the parish, their, just their common sense generosity, which I think reflected the attitude of men in that particular generation. Now, Father Corbett says he just opened the planning meeting with a prayer. We know otherwise. He was actively involved, always has been. Tom Berry, Tom Berry talks about the idea of presenting the notion to Monsignor Sprinky about a soccer tournament. Monsignor agreed to give it a chance. He allowed the idea, the vision to go forth, and here we are 50 years later. 50 years later for the spring game. Now certainly for an event like this, you all have to have the ideas and the visions as I just mentioned, but it's the hard work of bringing others along with you to contribute, to help out, that makes it work, makes it endure. And speaking of enduring, what a foundation. 50 years here for the Sprinky. The Sprinky lives on. The parish of St. Anne lives on, and I do mean lives on, since 1856. Not 1956, 1856. This parish is 155 years old. That's astounding. So, tonight we're presenting Steve. Father Corbett and Tom Berry with commemorative soccer balls, Steve. complete with the 50th Tom anniversary Tom. logo. They're signed by all the players representing St. Anne, as well as some of the neighboring parishes in the St. Louis Soccer Hall of Fame. So, please, again, join me in congratulating Father Bob and Tom Berry. Thank you! Now, all the Hall of Famers, would you come on out? My Father Corbin and Mr. Berry, come on out. Bobby Pollahan, Mike Turner, Steve Fetcher. Steve Fetcher, who, by the way, was the Rookie of the Year in the North American Soccer League in 1976, playing for the Dallas Tornado. And here is Pat Leahy, who formerly wore number five, not just at St. Louis University, but for 18 years with the New York Jets. 18 seasons with the Jets. Finished with 1,470 points in 450 games. Congratulations to everybody. And we'll have the first team to come out here shortly.
is this evening, Father Bob Corbett. Father. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I try to make this every year. Uh, I've missed the last three years, but I was invited. Good work, man. Everybody's uh, because, raving about it. Uh, Everybody's raving about it. Good work. Somewhat uh, important when this day began, this tournament. So uh, I just want to thank you all, one and all. And this will be the shortest homily I have ever given. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thanks, Father. He might. Here he comes. Tom, come on over here. Tom Barry, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank the uh, men's club and all the people that worked so hard this night and uh, like to thank the people that made this night possible. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. That, was, that was more brief than Father Corbin. Maybe you should do five o'clock mass. All right, folks. My pleasure being here. Congratulations. It's a great opportunity to play college soccer with Pat Leahy. You know a lot of the people who grew up in St. Anne's. And this, this outing, this parish is just an example of why St. Louis soccer is what it is today. Because of parishes like St. Anne's and the strong CYC program, now the select program. But before that all transpired, there was archdiocesan soccer in the various parishes, and this is one of the prime movers. So thank you very much for having me here this evening. Thank you, Bill. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Barry. Thank you, Father Bob. Thank you, Hall of Famers. Thank you, class. We'll call you the class of 65. We will, uh, once again, we have student-led tours through the school until 8 o'clock. And uh, we are ready to get our next game going, guys. So let's, uh, can we clear the field? Get ready. Can we get teams to the sidelines? Captain, center the field, please. Teams to the sidelines. Captain, center the field. Ooh, video. Oh, video. Video this. <laughs> Please come and sign the ball. Thank you. 